This is Go See Africa, and in case you doubt, that's my signature. So I want to highlight the first impression I get when I arrive at the city below the sun. That's Nairobi in Kenya, Africa. Based on stories we hear from the media and read on magazines, I've saw positive mindset about Nairobi. Just look at the roads and the kind of environment they have. It's so green. Now we're touching down and uh, in a few minutes we'll be leaving the airport. When leaving the airport, you have this signboard, Karibu Nairobi, meaning welcome to Nairobi. So, as a foreigner, you will have the impression that Kenyans are so much welcoming. Kenya yetu, akuna matata. The first impression immediately you leave the airport, then you find the Nairobi Expressway, whereby you, are, you have to experience that stardom moment though at, at a cost. You have to pay your, you have to part with something little, <laughs> some few dollars, yeah, for you to go to the destination you're headed to. But in this road, you are guaranteed of not having any tra traffic jam, yeah, no traffic jam at this level. So, here you'll be interacting with the mighty people of Kenya. Yeah. level people are able to drive at a speed of about 200 plus yeah 200 kilometers per hour Whatever notified me that we are already in Nairobi Central Business District in the presence of these high-end skyscrapers. Very beautiful one, new ones. I think the Kenyan people started making money just a few years ago because uh, the only tall building here, which you can say that it was built, it was built a long time ago, is the KICC the Kenya In International Convention Center, yeah, something like that, yeah? The likes of Britain Towers, uh, the whole Mucho something, those are new ones. Very, very new and very tall. Soon the, we'll be, Kenya might be competing with the likes of Dubai, yeah? The, what do you call this tall building in Dubai? Leave, leave a comment there.
Something else I noted about Nairobians. These guys are so much proud of their country, man. Kenya is a democratic country bro. country, bro. I think you've seen other countries, whenever time they have elections, you've seen war, like, uh, like, like you've seen, uh, like, we call it what, uh, conflicts between parties, you understand? You realize some of uh, uh, their citizens are migrating to other countries, and we've seen that with country like, I'm not being too personal to other countries, but we've seen that with Southern Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, all those guys are, they are now one of our own, <laughs> if that's the right. Yeah, they, they, they are now living their life, their best life in Kenya, after uh, running for, for their lives to Kenya. They are now living their lives, others are doing their businesses, like uh, selling kahawa, the so-called, uh, this, uh, how do I explain this? Can you assist me in explaining that? Edibles. Like, things like kahawa, things like mandazi. Those guys, every time you're in this, uh, in these busy roads, not uh, can I can I can I can I call them busy roads or what? Yeah, busy roads. Yeah, always. you meet with a guy with a guy with a flask and a, some uh, few disposable um, cups, plastic cups, yeah, and fun. some mandazis and chapatis. Definitely, that's not a Kenyan. Might be Burundian, Rwanda, Uganda, and others from Congo. Yeah, you've seen those guys living their best life in Kenya. In fact, they come to Kenya, they adapt everything in Kenya, and uh, most of them end up even buying lands, a piece of land in Kenya. Kenya is a peaceful place, bro. And again, reason number two, reason to why I do respect and love Kenya, is that uh, Kenya is a tourism attraction country. It's only in Kenya where we have an, a, a, a national park in the city, in, in the midst of the city. Am I wrong, bro, when I say that? Yeah, Nairobi National Park is within uh, the city, bro. My other impression is that Kenyans live as one community. You can tell by the way they're interacting with each other. Yeah, this side. Sorry. 
Pole. Stretch, stretch, stretch.